Hello and welcome to Raymond's Art Studio at www.raymondsartstudio.com. We already have our clade centered, properly centered and mounted on the bat. For this tutorial, we're going to open the clay and we're going to raise the size into a cylinder. This is the next step in pottery. So I want to get my get my sponge wet, get it in my hand. I want to get the clay a little bit wet on the outside. I'm going to hold my hand against the clay on the outside. I'm going to take my center fingers here and I'm going to try and find the center of the clay. And what I'm going to do is simply pierce my fingers into it and go work my way down to the bottom that I'm looking for. So what I'm going to do at this time, speed it up just a little bit. I'm going to get a little more water on it. Now I'm going to push in with my finger. I find that my center finger is the strongest. Some people use their thumb, some people use two thumbs, some people go in with their four, two first fingers. I like to use my center finger and my third finger because they are the strongest for me. So I'm going to go down to about a quarter inch from the bottom. On your average pot, you don't want any much thicker than that on a small pot. And you don't want it much thinner than that. If you get any thinner, then you can have problems down the line. So now I'm to the bottom, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my pin, my pin, and I'm going to put it into the bottom. I'm going to mark it with my finger. And at this point, I'm about a half inch thick. So I know I can go down just slightly more. So I'm going to go in a little bit more into the center. I'm going to go down about another eighth of an inch to a quarter of an inch. I'm going to pull it out. And as you can see now, I have it nicely opened up. At this point, I'm going to take my same fingers, I'm going to go in, and I'm going to literally pull the walls towards me. I'm going to use my thumb on the outside to keep the outside wall still. So here I go. I'm going to pull, 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 pull with my fingers to open up the inside. And what I'm doing now is I'm going to create the proper thickness at the bottom of this base for my fingers. For my, uh, I'm sorry, for my pot. So now I'm squeezing till I think I have the proper thickness. Now for the bottom of the pot, we want to make sure that it's firm, firmly pressed. So I'm going to go in with my fingers and I'm going to slowly press inward on the clay and work my finger in to firm up the bottom of the clay to make a nice firm base. I want to dry the bottom. If you keep too much liquid in the bottom, it will eventually go work its way through the clay. So you have to be careful not to get it too soft or too wet at this point. So now I'm going to moisten the top again. I'm going to take both fingers at the bottom and I'm going to push them together and I'm going to slowly pull those fingers upward. So I'm going to work this in just a little bit. I'm going to take my fingers and my thumb, squeeze them together gently, and I'm going to slowly, slowly, slowly pull up on the pot. Now you can see it's starting to form a nice wall. I'm going to take and I'm going to cone in just slightly like this with my fingers. I'm going to give the top a nice firm push to make it firm. If you don't firm the top on occasions, it will crack. So you want to keep the top, take both fingers, squeezing in and one finger going down and give it a nice firm touch. That'll create a nice edge on the top of your pot. Now what I'm going to do, now that I've had it pulled up that far, I'm going to go to the next step. Pulling the wall up with my finger, turn like this against the clay, 
my other two fingers inside pushing outward just above this finger and I'm going to slowly pull that wall up. Let me get it wet. And I'm going to, with these fingers, push outward. With this finger, just gently pull the clay up. As I raise it, I put less and less pressure coming up. I'm going to cone it in slightly. Now I'm going to give the top another squeeze so that it's nice and firm and flat. Pressure, pressure, good. Cone it up. Now we're going to raise it one more time gently. I'm almost at my thickness, but I can feel that it's not quite as thin as I like it to be. So I'm going to go in one more time with my finger. And I'm going to slowly and gently, at this point, I'm putting very little pressure, very little pressure, very little pressure, all the way to the top. Once again, I'm going to cone in slightly to make it nice and straight. I'm going to take both fingers, put pressure, finger on the top, pressure, slight pressure. That is a nicely turned cone. Now I'm going to go in with my sponge, get a little bit of the water out of the bottom. At this point, I'm going to use my rib, my ribbing tool, to take some of the bottom to square it. So I'm going to go in with my rib tool, gently pushing in, taking just a little at a time. Now I'm going to use the straight edge of my ribbing tool. I'm going to start at the bottom. I'm going to put my fingers into the bottom and push outward gently. And we're going to form a nice, smooth... outer edge. Now I'll take the tip of my rib and I'll put a wedge in the bottom. This wedge in the bottom is so that when we take the pot off, what we're going to do is we're going to cut it with a wire. I'll take my wire, I'll stretch my wire between my two hands, pull it tightly, push it firmly to the bottom of the bat, or the top of the bat I should say, and gently pull it through the bottom of the clay. That will loosen it from the bat and that will have it ready for removal tomorrow. Normally I wait the next day then I remove them that way they're firm enough I don't distort the clay and then I can take them off and put them right on my drying shelf to be dried. That's the end of my centering and wall raising tutorial. I hope you've learned something today. Please join me again soon.